Welcome, everyone, to the Tug of War game. Yay! Yay! It's the pirates. Ahoy there! Yay! Oh! Ow. All right! All right! Versus the ninjas. <laughs> Deltoid, please prepare the rope. Ah. <laughs> Here you are, my friend. Yes, thank you, Deltoy. <laughs> Each team will pull on one side of this rope. The team that pulls the other one over this line wins the tug of war cup. <laughs> oh, this is super exciting! I know. I wonder who's going to win. I hope it's the pirates. Yeah. They said they were going to have a party if they win. And I totally love parties. Ready. On your marks. Get set. Tug! <laughs> oh! All right! All right! We're so strong, we broke the rope. I don't think so. Look, the rope's all worn out. It looks like somebody tried to cut it before the game. And that's why it snapped. We'd better get a new rope. But how can we make sure it doesn't get cut too? We've got to find out who cut the rope so that they don't do it again. I need to investigate who cut the tug of war rope. Time to open a new case. Investigate! Let's call this the case of the tug of war rope. Where are you going to start, Noddy? Right here. I need to question the teams. Maybe they know something about it. Good thinking. I'll tell everyone we'll have the tug of war game when you finish the investigation. Attention, everyone. We didn't cut the rope, lad. We're no cheats. Maybe it was those there ninjas. Ninjas, ninjas did, did not cut, cut the rope. rope. Did you see anything strange before the game? No, nothing at all. And now we can't win the tug of war and get the cup. <gasps> Don't worry, Captain. I'll find out what happened. Thanks, Noddy. I know we can count on you. Thanks, Wise Noddy. Aha! Come on, you two. Let's see if we can find some clues. What is it, Bumpy? A toolbox. Clever boy. Look. There's a saw in it. Maybe someone used this to cut the rope. Let's think. Who owns a saw in Toyland? Smartysaurus? No. Pat Pat? No. Deltoid? No. Fuse, of course. He's got lots of tools in his workshop. Let's ask him if he knows anything. You are now entering Brickerville. Thank you, Noddy. Happy face! Where did you find my toolkit? It was under a bench by the tug of war game, and there was a saw in it. That is true. I think someone could have used the saw to cut through the rope. It was not me. Truly, Noddy, I used my toolbox to check the big screen before the tug of war, and then I forgot to take it home with me. I did not cut the rope. Oh, I see. Thanks. What are you going to do now, Noddy? I'm going to keep investigating. I wonder if I've missed a clue. Let's see. The pirates didn't see anything. There's the basket that had the rope in it. And there was pink ribbon in it too. Whoever put it there could have cut the rope. Where can I find pink ribbon? Pat Pat! 
she's always making things. I bet the ribbon is hers. Come on, Bumpy, let's go and find out. Animal Acres, here we come. Not yet. That's why I've come to see you. Pat's Pat, is this yours? Yes, that's my ribbon. I decorated the arena with it. A big ears asked me to use it for the bow in the middle of the rope. So were you near the rope? Yes. What is it, Revs? Pat Pat, look. These skipping ropes are all worn out at the end. Yes, I cut them so that the pockets could skip. Skip, skip, skip! What did you use to cut them? My special cutting stone. See? The tug of war rope was all worn out too. Did you use the stone to cut that? No, I would never do that. My cutting stone always stays here. Oh, it's too heavy to move. So if it wasn't you or Fuse, or the pirates, or the ninjas, who else could have cut the rope? Nauticorns! Nauticorns! That's right! They were near the rope too. When? Just before the tug of war started. Oh! Do you think they cut the rope? Maybe. Let's go and talk to them. Hi, buddy! Let's up with your investigation! Sorry, Noddy. <laughs> yeah. Hiya. Have you found out who did it yet? Not yet. Can I ask you a question? Uh-huh. You were all seen near the tug of war rope before the game. Did you cut it? No. no. Us? Us? You cannot be serious. But why were you near the rope? Well, we may, I'm just saying may, have been looking for a way to help the pirates win. Yeah, because they were going to have a party. We were just going to make it a little bit slippy for the ninjas. With some polish. But we didn't know what side they were going to stand on, so we gave up. So you didn't cut the rope either. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know. This is such a hard case, Bumpy. Biggis always says that a good investigator looks and looks again. It's time to go back to the beginning. It's Noddy! Ninjas, get ready to win the tug of war. Ahoy there! Aha! Oh! Aha! Sorry, everyone. I'm still investigating. If I don't find out who cut the rope, they might do it again. <coughs> I haven't talked to Scurvy yet. Scurvy? Ahoy! <coughs> oh! <coughs> Look! Your beak went right through the string. Oops! It must be really sharp. Did you have something to do with the worn-out rope? Yes! Yes! Scurvy did it! Scurvy did it! You did it? But why? Practice! Practice! You were practicing tug-of-war? <laughs> Oi! He's been practicing for days. So that's how the rope was cut. Your beak cut it when you were practicing before the game. <laughs> ah, sorry! Sorry! Oh, shiver me, Timber Scurvy. You didn't mean no harm, lad. <gasps> Don't worry, Scurvy. <gasps> we can still play. It's OK, Scurvy. It was an accident. I think there's another way you can help the pirate team and keep the rope safe, too. Hi. <laughs> 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 I'm sure this rope will not break. Here you are, my friends. Ready to cheerlead, Scurvy? Ah! Cheerlead! Cheerlead! 
Get ready. Get set. Tug. Heave-ho, pirates! Heave-ho, pirates! Heave-ho, pirates! Heave-ho, pirates! <laughs> Scurvy makes a marvellous cheerleader. <laughs> I know. And now we can have the tug of war without the rope breaking. It's all thanks to you, Noddy. Well done. How did you work it out? I thought whoever cut the rope wanted to stop the game. But when I saw Scurvy cutting through the string, I knew he cut the rope by accident. He was practising before the game. The case of the tug of war rope is closed. So, there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. Case closed! And this be a model of the Golden Dragon. It was sailed by Toyland's most fearsome pirate of all. Tina, the Terrible. Wow! I bet Tina the Terrible didn't make her crew do all this scrubbing. We shouldn't be spring cleaning. We should be out there looking for treasure. Treasure? Oh. Oops. Ah, oh, scurvy. It be broken. Hmm. Maybe Fuse can fix it. Ah, good thinking, Noddy. First mate stripes, off ye go to Brickerbuild and get it fixed. But, Captain, not another chore. <gasps> Are ye disobeying an order? No, Captain. No, not at all. Aye, aye, Captain. And while you're at it, can you order some new cannon plugs from Fuse? Aye, aye. We'll see you later too, Captain. I'm helping Biggie spring clean the toadstool. <sighs> Finished. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Noddy! All our treasure! It's gone! Stripes wasn't there to guard it, and someone must have stolen it! Don't worry, Captain. I'll help you find it. I need to investigate. Who's taken the pirate's treasure? Time to open a new case. Investigate! Who? What? what? When? when? Where? Where? Why? Why? How? Let's investigate now! Let's call this the case of the stolen treasure. How are you going to solve this one, Noddy? I'm going to start by looking for clues where the treasure was stolen. Pirate Bay! <laughs> Good thinking. Come on, Bumpy. Let's go. Bye, Big Ears. Good luck, Noddy. <laughs> This be where the treasure was, lad. Mm. Hmm. Nothing is broken, which means whoever took your treasure knew exactly how to open your hidey hole. Only a pirate would know how to do that. <gasps> do you think it could be another pirate? Exactly. Oh. Ha-ha! Ah, stripes, there you are. We've got a problem. Our treasure was stolen while you were at Fuse's workshop. We think another pirate might have taken it. Another pirate, eh? I'll see if they're hiding in the rocks. <laughs> rocks! Ah, rocks! Hmm. Nothing here. <laughs> what is it, Bumpy? <laughs> Another pirate ship! Maybe that's who stole your treasure. 
Arr! Let's show them what we're made of, me hearties! Let's go in search of our treasure! Broadside! I thought so. Captain, that isn't a ship. It's just the shadow of one. Huh? You mean the ship isn't really there? Well, it must be somewhere, or there wouldn't be a shadow. Look! The shadow's moving! It's heading for Daredale! All hands on deck, me hearties! Heads up! Yay! Oh, slice the main brace! <laughs> Fire at will, me hearties! <laughs> Full speed ahead! That shadow looked familiar. I think I've seen it before. But when? <laughs> of course! A dragon's head! That's it! Come on, Bumpy. Let's go. Where are they, the thieving pirates? Captain! Look, that's the shadow of the ship we're looking for. And that's the model of the golden dragon. They're the same. Giggling galleons! You mean it would teener the terrible who stole our treasure? I think so, but we need to find her to be sure. Aha! Full speed ahead, me hearties! We'll soon find our treasure! Aha! Treasure! Treasure! No, wait! There's no sign of the golden dragon. I wonder why. Maybe it's hiding somewhere. Here's a map of Daredale. Where could a big ship hide? Not at the racetrack. Or in Deltoid's house. But maybe inside the Daredevil caves. Ah, well done, Noddy, me lad. <laughs> <laughs> Set sail for Daredevil caves. Lamps and torches on. Now let's all look for the golden dragon. Ah, oh, me and Scurvy will go this way. The rest of you go that way. Ah. Good thinking, first mate Stripes. Let's go! Hmm. Still no sign of the golden dragon. Maybe it isn't here after all. <laughs> A shadow! Look! It's the golden dragon! Quick! The shadow's moving! After it! <laughs> It's gone. But I don't understand. How can a giant ship appear and then disappear? Noddy! Ah, Stripe Scurvy! We just saw the shadow. Quickly, back in the ship, me hearties! We're getting closer to our treasure! Ah treasure! Ah! <laughs> well, at least Stripe seems a bit more cheery. Oh, Revs, there you are. Huh? What's that? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Bumpy, it's you. It's your shadow. It's being made by Rev's headlights, see? <laughs> Funny Bumpy. Come on, we've got an investigation to solve. <gasps> no, wait. That's it. A small thing can sometimes make a big shadow. Maybe the shadow of the golden dragon wasn't made by the real golden dragon at all. Maybe it was made by the model golden dragon. One of the wings on the shadow is broken. Just like the wing on the model. Which means someone is using the model ship to make everyone think it's the real one. But who and why? We know first mate Stripes took the model ship to Fuse. Maybe Fuse gave it to someone else. Come on, you two. Let's go and find out. But Noddy, I do not understand. What ship? The ship that first mate Stripes gave you to fix. Did you give it to someone? Oh, dear. Sorry, Noddy. I do not remember first mate Stripes giving me anything to fix. Only Scurvy came to ask for these new cannon plugs. But you must do. She took the model ship and went off with Scurvy to give it to you. While she was away, the treasure went missing. Oh, unless... Thanks. You've been a big help. Have I? Big ears, come with me. Hi, pirates. 
Ah, Noddy. No joy, I'm afraid. That golden dragon's impossible to catch. Oh. Oh. That's because it isn't there, Captain. Well, of course it is. We saw its shadow. No, we saw the shadow of your model ship. But the model's at Fuse's workshop. In it, first mate? Sorry, Captain. Noddy's right. We used the model of the Golden Dragon to try and make you think there was a real ship there. But why? <laughs> because it was them who took the treasure. Or Noddy's right. It were. <laughs> The treasure! Sorry, Captain. We were fed up doing all that scrubbing. I knows real pirate scrub decks too, but we wanted to look for treasure instead. Well, I suppose we did have fun, eh? What? Payment accepted. Thank you. Come again soon. Uh... Arr, let's find a new treasure, me hearties! <laughs> 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 well done, Noddy. You solved the investigation. Thanks. When I saw Bumpy's shadow on the wall, I worked out it wasn't the real golden dragon. Just the tiny model one. First Mate Stripes and Scurvy stole the treasure. They were fed up scrubbing the pirate galleon and wanted to look for treasure. The case of the stolen treasure is closed. So, there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. Case closed! Not long now, Pat Pat. <laughs> it's so exciting. Yes, today's the only day in the year when the magical Fable Forest rainbow glitters like a giant firework. It'll start when night falls. <gasps> Hi, Noddy. Notice anything different about me today? Um, you've had a horn shine? Correct. I always look super excellent on Rainbow Day, and that's not easy. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Poof, can I borrow your horn polish? As a close friend, I need to let you know your horn will never shine like mine, but borrow away. Oh, thanks. Hooray! Bye-bye. I'll hold the test tubes high in the sky and catch the sparkles as they fall from the rainbow. So? I've caught sparkles, like, millions of times. You just reach up to the sky and... <gasps> Look! Something totally weird is happening. The rainbow's losing its colour. <gasps> the red and orange have already gone. Oh, my stars. The yellow is going too. Noddy, what's happening? I don't know. I need to investigate. How can I get the rainbow colours back? Time to open a new case. Investigate! Who? What? what? When? when? Where? Where? Why? Why? How? Let's investigate now! Let's call this... The case of the disappearing rainbow. Oh, dear. This is serious. What are you going to do, Noddy? There's only one way to get close enough to investigate. I'm going to fly over the rainbow. Maybe I can help with your investigation. Great idea. Oh, brilliant. You can take a sample of the rainbow with this. Thanks. The colour starts to fade from the other end of the rainbow. See you there. Good luck. 
to disappear. Oh, Noddy, what can we do? I think the indigo started to disappear after Bumpy put his nose in the pot. Let's put the gold back in and see what happens. Oh, wow I thought so. What? The rainbow needs the gold to make its colours bright and shiny. And this pot has some gold missing. That's why the colours are fading. I just need to get all the gold back into the pot. And then the Fable Forest rainbow display can happen after all. <laughs> but where's the missing gold? Who would travel all the way to the end of the rainbow to take it? <coughs> huh? The Toyland Pirates! Well done, Bumpy. They love gold. Come on. I'll guard the gold and keep it safe. Thanks. Gold dust on this ship? No, lad. Pirates promise. We haven't taken it. We're out looking for treasure ourselves. We're clean out of gold at the moment. Oh. Uh, thanks, Captain. Where exactly be this gold dust? At the end of the rainbow. So it's true. There is a pot of gold at the end of every rainbow. Sorry we can't help you, lad. <laughs> if the pirates haven't taken the gold, then who has? <laughs> Biggie says the best investigators look and look again. Let's see if we missed anything at the pot of gold. Follow it. Maybe it'll take me to whoever took the gold. Oh! Oh. Hoof yet? 
well... Oh, it's taken me ages to get the golden shine just right. <laughs> Clubby Corn, I've got something to show you. Come on, boys. <laughs> Ahoy, pirates. Huh? Come with us. You have to see what happened to the rainbow. Oh, Ow. Uh, we could spare a minute, but no longer. Come on. So, I made the rainbow colours disappear because I took the gold? Yes. I'm so sorry, Noddy. I was trying to look as good as Hoof, but I ruined everything. It's OK. I know how to fix it. If you shake all the gold back into the port, the colours will come back. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. The red's still missing. Right oh, we pirates best be heading off. Hold on. Huh? Don't pirates like gold more than anything in the world? Well, I. Have you taken some of the gold? But I was guarding the gold the whole time. Scurvy. Huh? Uh oh. Arr, we took a little when you weren't looking. No offence intended. <clears throat> Oh, yes. Look! Hold your horn up to the light. Oh, my horn is beautiful after all! <laughs> Another case solved, Noddy. I knew you could do it. <laughs> Thanks. As soon as I discovered the gold was powering the rainbow, I just had to work out how to get it all back. And the golden trail led me all the way to Clobbycorn. <laughs> the case of the disappearing rainbow is closed. So, there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. Case closed! Is. It's so noisy already. Pirate parade! Pirate parade! Pirate parade! Pirate parade! We've got streamers and balloons, and the pirates are going to sing a new pirate song just for this parade. I can't wait! But where are the pirates? Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Scurvy. Where are the pirate crew? Hiding. Hiding. Hiding? What about the pirate, pirate parade? parade? Pirate parade! Why are the pirates hiding, Scurvy? <laughs> hiding. Hiding. <laughs> I need to investigate. Why are the pirates hiding? Time to open a new case. Investigate! Who? What? what? When? when? Where? Where? Why? Why? How? How? Let's investigate now! Let's call this the case of the hiding pirates. Hey, Noddy! Huh? 
The pirates are my neighbours in Daredale. I, Deltoid, am determined to aid in their discovery. <laughs> Thanks, Deltoid. I think we should start by talking to Scurvy. Scurvy? Did the pirates tell you where they're hiding? Please be quiet. Oh. Aha! Uh -huh. Scurvy, did the pirates tell you why they're hiding? Please be quiet. Um. <laughs> Wait, I know. If we can find out where the pirates are hiding, perhaps we can find out why. Let's head to the galleon to look for them. <laughs> Ready, Deltoid? Scurvy, come with us. <laughs> Uh, 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 Ahoy! Playtime! Playtime! Good luck, Come on, down here. Pirate stripes, Captain. Pirate stripes, Captain. Hmm. But where are they? Instrument cases are empty. <coughs> Don't worry, Scurvy. We'll find them and then we can have the parade. <coughs> the pirates aren't here and neither are their instruments. <coughs> Pirate stripes? Captain? But why would the pirates hide with their instruments and where else would they be? <coughs> Scurvy, let us go down. It's a map of the Daredale Caves. That's a perfect hiding place. Clever Bumpy. <laughs> Let's go. Ahoy! <laughs> Scurvy, but maybe next time you could sing a little quieter. Deltoid shall help you look. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> That's right, Scurvy. It's a drumstick. If the pirates are playing their instruments, maybe we can hear them. Ah, that's right. Not big one. Noddy. Let us listen. Captain! Uh. Strike! Uh. Uh. Hmm. Well, that was the pirates. But they aren't answering. Who are they hiding from? Oh, no! Strike! Ah! 
Scurvy, please, please stop squawking. Please stop squawking. Oh. Please stop squawking. Shush, 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 shush. Oh. Shush. Oh. Oh. Hang on. Scurvy. Did Pirate Captain and First Mate Stripes tell you to be quiet? Please be quiet. Please be quiet. And when did they hide? Was it after they asked you to be quiet? Ahoy! Scurvy hasn't been telling you to be quiet, Deltoid. He was just repeating what he's been told whenever he makes too much noise. Please be quiet. Please stop squawking. Shush! Shush! Please be quiet. I think I know why the pirates are hiding, but I need to work out the next part of the investigation in quiet. In quiet. Fine, Captain. Fine stripes. Yes, Scurvy. But I've got to carry on by myself. Is that all right? Ahoy! <laughs> I, Deltoid, will take you back to Toy Green. Toy Green, ahoy! Scurvy and Deltoid, ahoy! Ahoy, indeed, my friend. Ahoy, indeed, my friend. How are we going to find the pirates? Simple, by being quiet and listening for their music. <gasps> the pirates, this way. We didn't think you'd find us here, lad. Have you been hiding from Scurvy to practice the pirate song for the parade? Um, but we know it's not nice and we do miss Scurvy, but we couldn't get the pirate song right with Scurvy always interrupting. We've learned it now. <coughs> Although I think my voice is getting a bit croaky. Oh, are. Mine too. <laughs> Don't worry, I've got an idea that will help your voices and let Scurvy join in. We are pirates of the sea. We the pirates of the sea. We the pirates of the sea. And the merry band are we. And a merry band. The pirate parade wouldn't be any fun without pirates. <laughs> <laughs> and you found them. Thanks, Big Ears. <laughs> I thought Scurvy was just shouting, but he was trying to help me find the pirates. I realised they were hiding so they could practice their song without Scurvy interrupting them. <laughs> I didn't realise, but Scurvy had been trying to tell us all along. <laughs> well, it's lovely to see them back together and all so happy. Well done, Noddy. Thanks, Biggies. The case of the hiding pirates is closed. So, there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. Case closed! me. 
that strange? Oh, Noddy, what can I do to make him be my friend again? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. I need to investigate. How can I get Deltoid to be friends with Smarty Saurus again? Time to open a new case. Investigate! Let's call this the case of Deltoid's strange behaviour. First, I'll talk to Deltoid to find out why he keeps running away from Smartysaurus. Come on, Bumpy. Let's go. Good luck, Noddy. Bye. <laughs> Hey, Deltoid! <laughs> who are you? And who is this Deltoid of whom you speak? You're Deltoid, and I'm Noddy, your friend. Noddy? <laughs> Whoa! Down! Down, strange, waggy dog thing. That's Bumpy. You must remember him. I'm sorry, I have no time to chat, not E, for there is a monster on the loose, and I need to get home. <coughs> a monster? What monster? <laughs> Big blue glasses. Oh. <laughs> you mean Smartysaurus? But she isn't a big blue monster. She's a dinosaur, and she's your friend. My friend? Well, I am... Uh, Deltoid. Deltoid, thanks. <laughs> I cannot be friends with that terrible lizard. Farewell, Noddy. I need to get home. Ah, mm, and my home is where? Come on, I'll give you a lift and we can find some clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I love this place of wonder. Wow, I feel so at home. <laughs> and you can't remember anything? Nothing. All I know is there is a monster, and I must use all my martial arts powers of Del Toido to defeat it. Wait, what's that rattle? Rattle? What rattle? <laughs> it's coming from inside you. Look! <laughs> There's a scratch on your control panel. Um. Hmm. Smarty Saurus said you slipped and fell. Maybe something came loose inside. Maybe that's what's making you rattle. And maybe that's why he can't remember anything. That's a lot of maybes, Nod E. You're right. I need proof. I know. I'll take an x ray photo. <laughs> Smile. Whoop. <laughs> Deltoid! There you are! Hmm? <gasps> the blue monster! Hey! <laughs> Deltoid! Run! <laughs> mm. Look, Bumpy! <laughs> wait! I'm your friend! Deltoid, wait! Aha! This is what fell out of Deltoid. But what is it? <laughs> Let's go and ask Fuse. He knows all about how toys work. Then maybe I can solve the investigation and Deltoid and Smartysaurus can be friends again.
Here it is. A picture of the inside of Deltoid. So what now? Now to find a match with the tiny piece you found. Calculating. Big files. Overload. Answer. Tomorrow. Tomorrow? <sighs> Clever Bumpy. The X-ray photo. Look. Views. Oh. Look. I took this photo of Deltoy today. Oh. It's the same as the picture in the manual. Exactly. Except for one tiny difference. Look! In the x-ray, there's nothing there. But in the manual, there's a tiny piece. So that must be where this tiny piece goes. Happy face! Oh! Worried face! Huh? This is Deltoid's memory chip, where he stores all his memories. Look! <laughs> that's Deltoid with all his friends, and that's him with Smartysaurus. Ah, so that's why he can't remember anything. He doesn't have his memory chip in. Correct. So if we put it back inside him, he'll remember he's friends with Smartysaurus. Correct, again. Thanks, Fuse. Come on, Bumpy. Oh, I wonder where Deltoid is now. Hmm. I saw him at his house. Then he ran off towards... The Daredale Caves. Maybe that's where he is. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> I am making a trap to catch the blue monster. Smartysaurus isn't a monster. <laughs> Look, this is your memory chip. If you let me put it back inside you, you'll remember everything. I promise. Hmm. How do I know you are truly telling the truth? Because I'm your friend, remember? <laughs> there you are! No, wait! Ha ha ha! Aha! Look out! Deltoid! <gasps> <gasps> oh! My tail! Ooh. Mm. You saved me! <sighs> Stand back, Noddy! <laughs> We saved each other. You are my friend. Oh. I just wish I could remember why. There. Any second now, your memories will come back. Oh. Oh. Uh. 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 Ah! <laughs> At last, I, Deltoid, can remember all my friends. Bumpy, <laughs> Noddy, <laughs> Smartysaurus, I remember everything. <laughs> well done, Noddy. You finished the investigation. <laughs> Thanks. Once I realised that Deltoid had lost his memory chip, I knew what to do. When I put it back into his control panel, Deltoid got his memories back. And now, Deltoid and Smartysaurus are friends again. The case of Deltoid's strange behaviour is closed. So, there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. Case closed!